attention to going abroad. I've never actually left the country. I didn't really want to be because we were in California. Like, why would we need to? <laughs> but then in January, I went through a really bad breakup. I thought, I'm going to do something crazy. Why not go abroad? And so I went to the EAP office and went to Mr. Stanzo. And they're all super helpful, made it super easy. It's, they're all great, honestly. They'll make it so easy for you. Um, and so I started to do Hong Kong because uh, why not? I don't, Hong Kong sounded fun. And it was cheaper than almost anywhere in Europe, so that's nice. Um, and so I signed up. They had all sorts of classes that you can take with your major. There's literally like two dozen equivalent for UCSB classes. It was really nice. Um, and uh, I signed up, it was really easy, and like a month before school started, I just bought a ticket to Thailand, and I went to Thailand and just lived there for about four weeks. And I just wandered around, I didn't know anyone or anything about Thailand, and uh, I made some lifelong friends, like you meet amazing people when you're abroad and by yourself, and I just went scuba dived, and I rode elephants, all sorts of stuff for four weeks, it was amazing, and for that amount of time, I spent like $300, it was so nice. <laughs> um, then I went to Hong Kong, and uh, this is me on the first day in Hong Kong, it was beautiful. Um, and I uh, took, I studied artificial intelligence for computer science, which is actually way harder than I thought it was going to be because for the classes, it's kind of different than here. They made your artificial intelligence compete against everyone else in your classes. <laughs> and so there's no help, you were on your own because if you beat a bunch of people, you got an A, if you beat some people, you got a C, if you beat nobody, you got an F. So it was a little bit stressful, and I spent more nights sleeping in the library than I would care to admit. Um, but despite all that, I still had a lot of time to just do whatever I joined. Two different rugby teams, the university rugby team, the club rugby team. I started my own Dragon Ball racing team. I went to Beijing for a week. I went to Japan for a week, and I spent four or five days living in a Buddhist temple in the countryside. I spent a few days in Tokyo wandering around. This is this is a dance club with robots. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, it was amazing. And those, they danced. They danced. <laughs> um, before finals, they give you two weeks off to study. And I thought, I go to UC. We learn something on Friday, I have a final on Saturday. I don't need to study. <laughs> so I spent that time instead going to the Philippines to do uh, typhoon relief work which I actually wouldn't recommend. I really need to study. <laughs> um, so don't do that. But um, this is my rugby team, and this is people I'm scuba diving with. Just random people out, somebody who's just traveling. Because anyone who's by themselves is more than willing to be your friend when you're abroad. It's the most amazing thing. And here's relief work in the Philippines. We're just fixing up houses that were destroyed. But if I had to give you one piece of advice, um, when you're abroad, you're going to be way out of your comfort zone. It's going to be really easy to just stay in your room and study and not do anything else. But despite how busy you might be, like in my class, you still have time to do a whole bunch of amazing stuff and travel and do sports and whatever else you want. So take advantage of it because I don't think I'm ever going to get something like this again in my life. It was really amazing.